Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. My name's Brian, your host and commentator. I forgot to mention that you can trade with Malcolm, but it's nothing special, so I'm not too worried about it, I guess. <laughs> I turned the gain up all the way on the microphone. I'm going to record this episode like that, see how it goes, see how badly it picks up all the background noise. Also got to learn to not talk while NPCs are talking. I was watching one of my videos back and I'm like, man, you just cannot hear me over the NPC. My witty, my witty comebacks and character. So what we're going to do this episode is we're just going to start making our way towards Prim. That's what we're being told to do. But on the way there, we're going to stop on over by this fridge for our first wild wasteland encounter. This is, of course, a reference to that Indiana Jones film, the fourth one, where Indiana Jones survives that explosion by hiding in a fridge. You get the suave gambler hat, which I guess is uh, probably the hat that looks most like his. Here. Yeah, there we go. Gives plus one perception. So I'll put that on whenever I need to pick one of those locks. You can get plus one perception from any sort of hat, really. They all give, like, plus one. The helmets and shit are what give damage threshold. And then the merchant ones give, like, barter increases. But over there, we have Gene Skydiving. Oh, we also have trouble. In fact, here. Don't want to use my overcharge cells, though. Just going to keep backing up. Ooh, get headshotted. Show gecko ass out, goofy gecko ass out of here. Probably get attacked randomly by geckos. Very close to leveling up here. I I decided to do some other things before heading because Prim was going to be very early on, but going to Sloan, um, and like that that kind of made my experience a little bit higher than I had originally planned. So we're going to be hitting level four pretty easily here, and it kind of messed up my early hello. character build. But hello. Can you help me? Oh, what's wrong? Why are you crying, Barton Thorn? I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. She is. Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and where's this the hot babe at? The top of the trail. I'll see what I can you do. Will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Julio Gonzalez, Gonzalez, love saving hot babes. So let's go up here. Now Barton Thorn will be wearing something. Different. A lot of the characters have random gear spawn on them, I guess, for outfits and stuff, which is cool. Sure, why not? Mixes things up, you know, from playthrough to playthrough a little bit. It's one way to do it, I suppose. But yeah, I should have... See, I'm thinking I should have took Heave Ho early on. Or at least, like, since I got the explosive skill book, I didn't take those three points into account, you know, when I was building this character. Because I wasn't originally going to go to Sloan. I'm going to approach these geckos with this dynamite. There's two of them right here, just chilling. They're like, hey, there's a, a motherfucker. Ooh, we got one of them. I don't know if that was both of them, though. Let's see how much experience I get. I already committed to this next dynamite. I already pressed the trigger before the slow-mo happened, so. Looks like that's both of them. There is one over here. Just chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all doing it up. Shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Let's go get him. Since he wants to be... Oh my goodness. Oh! If only my energy weapon skill was higher. But instead I'm putting it into shit like lockpick. And science. Actually, I haven't really put any points into science. Explosives is another one. Let's free up some more... Um, Inventory space here by getting rid of this other dynamite with these geckos. You can see there's three red dots over there. Let's chuck it over. See if I had heave ho right now instead of light touch, which has been largely useless. I might set off the bear traps too with this dynamite. They don't give you two, they give you like two XP, but you know, it's still cool to have, I guess. Alright, now they're all crippled as shit. They'll just slowly walk up to you and they'll like kind of just swipe at you or nat nibble at you when enemies are all... They're all just super weak. Ugh, I'm just going to execute them one at a time. Where's the hot babe? Somebody speak. 
There's like five of them up here, man. Boom. Boom, got him. Let's go ahead and reload that shit. Alright, well that's all of them. Yeah, you can see there's that. Oh no, was that? Oh, okay. Level gain. Respect. Um, I'm not sure if we'll hit level five. I need the... I do need the survival points. I don't know if we'll hit level five. By the time we, we begin picking very hard locks. So I'm just going to get this to 60 just to be safe. We already have explosives. Well, it's at 33. But see, that could be three more points I could put towards survival. Because right now I need to get survival up to 45 before level 6. So that uh, I can grab the feet where I get to move 10% faster while wearing light or no armor. So this will allow us here. Heave will allow us to throw our explosives 50% further. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I did set off one of the bear trap. Rearm. How do I not have it? What do you mean? Oh, it's a 55 to reset it. Okay, that's fine. They're only worth like 2 XP, so I'm not too upset. I think you need a repair of like 20 or 25 to disarm them. Boom. So not missing out on much there. I don't need any of that. Got our next wild wasteland encounter right here. Woo! This is Johnny Five Aces, which is a reference to some other character in some other game that the the company was making i think that black owl studios is making i don't quite know but oh yeah and if you move forward all these balls will fall off they'll go down there here join your join your ball friends oh man i tried to pull it from his body that way but woo they just rolled all the way down there Let's see if this one makes its way down no that one got stuck on some rocks or some shit you know you go too johnny get out of here <laughs> Someone just sees someone tossing balls and a body off a cliff. All right, let's get let's start heading down. We got other shit to do. Let's go find Barton Thorn. What's that nigga up to? He's just chilling, letting us do all the work. There he is. Sorry, I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. After I deal with you. Hey! Oh shit! Din -din -din -din. So his weapon is random, just like his armor there. Take care of him real easy. For 18 experience points. So he's worth 20 normally. Um, none particularly groovy on him. I'm just going to ignore all that shit. We're going to continue on. So this is not a location on the map. It's just up the ridge by Good Spring Source. You can see the source from that overlook we were at. We're going to be getting heading south, but we want to hug this wall here. Because there is a location along that wall. And there happens to be a skill book at that location. So that's kind of the plan. I, I can't I can't go up there, but let's uh Yeah, we'll just keep on wrapping around here. We're gonna ignore that Gene skydiving building that we came across before. The one that I was like, hey, you can notice there's a building and then some geckos attacked me. Remember that? Yeah, you were there. But we're going to ignore that. Oh, we got more. We got Mo Company. And I'll just take care of these guys real quick then. So I don't have... I don't want to deal with it. They got too close too quick. I didn't have time to pull this bad boy out. I didn't have time to pull the laser out. You'll see this uh, trailer sitting up here. Kind of tucked away. This is Lone Wolf Radio. Woo! wonder what this place is all about. Huh, well, let's just go ahead and hop on in. Looking around, there's a fission battery worth a little sum. I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm not going to pick that up. Got some sensor modules. I'll leave those as well. None too nutty. There is a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle cap here as well. There we go. Let's nab that. See if I can snag these other two bottle caps without picking up any of this junk. Man, there's just nothing in these cases and kits. Another fission battery, more scrap metal, and ah! Wasteland Survival Guide. Scrap electronics. Yeah, Wasteland Survival Guide is going to be key to getting my survival up to 45 by the time we hit level 6. So, 
want to snag that early on. There's another one we could snag early on too, but it's guarded by giant rad scorpions, so I'm going to have to forego it. Got some scrap electronics here and there. Most of the parts to fix Eddie, which is a robot companion that you can get very early on, even though I'm going to wait until we activate him, because I don't want to get his quest started. You know, I'm going to wait until we, we do his companion quest before I fix him and repair him. You can find a lot of the parts you need for him, like the sensor module, uh, scrap metal, fission batteries one, or scrap electronics, I think, is the other one. I don't know, but you can see on the wall here, everybody is gone. Uh, I'm having a hard time. I'm all alone, and then <laughs> let it all end. There's some rumor that this was supposed to be the headquarters, the, the hiding place of some, like, pedophile or some that gave quests to the player or something along those lines. Or maybe there's a quest involved, like, figuring out where he's at and killing him or something. I don't know. But I believe the developers said that was never the case, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, we need to... Now we need to get back to the main road. There's kind of... There's a little side area that I want to dip off and check out. Here, let's... We'll take the main path down. That way it's not too confusing for you. That way I'm not just running around the wasteland all willy-nilly. It's easier for you you folks, especially you special folks, to follow along. Boom. So we're going to go from here. There's the... Uh, <laughs> that's the... The van, we're going to go here. We're just going to go right. Just going to keep on going. We're just going to keep on keeping on. Just taking it easy. Yeah, just kind of cutting through the rocks here. Banging hard left as we make our way down. Maybe there's a more central route. Maybe I should have gone left instead of right around that rock. Let's get these fucking gecks. This guy, this is a little guy. We got a little guy here. That was easy. another one. I think it's attacking a rad roach though. They attack rad roaches in the area. This gecko's like fighting them roaches. Like fucking Gex, fucking roach! They run at each other. It's wasteland. It's wild wasteland creature politics. We wouldn't understand. We're humans. We wouldn't understand. I have no idea where that red dot. I was. Oh, there he is. He's getting away. He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, God. You ain't out of anywhere, boy. Get, get zapped. Zap. I'm just going to run around and be like, zap. Get zapped, fool. Okay, here we go. This is the, the pool of water in the center of the... These guys are everywhere. Oh, this is an actual gecko hunter. Shit. Should be using vats a little more, but that's fine. I don't want to slow things down. Now this episode, we're doing part one of They Went That Away. So we got this little radiated pool here. This is a good, like, marking landmark. So you can follow, like, the, the little gulch it creates, um, um, I guess, from the, from the, that trailer we were at all the way down here. I don't know, but we've, we found it. We're going to go this way, opposite of Lone Wolf Radio. There's a doctor's bag, a pack of Mentats, which I need because I only have, like, one thing of mentats i think yeah i only have one so i need another one wouldn't hurt uh another there's a pack of mentats a doctor's bag and a sneak magazine which is not going to be all that useful to me but still it's a sneak magazine we don't have a sneak magazine supplement yet i don't believe la fontama it has an exclamation point at the beginning so it's like towards the but here we go yeah see la fontana we'll take the fixer oh it's not mentats it's fixer that's even better arguably Fixer removes temporary, or not temporary, but it removes um, addiction withdrawal, or addiction, fuck, drug addiction. It says temporary, I don't know, it's worded weird, but temporary addiction removal. I don't know how long it lasts. I thought it actually just removed addictions, but I could be wrong. It's good enough, though. It's a temporary one. I only have two of those, so. Although I will be using Mentats a lot more, but the Fixer's more rare. I feel like I find less Fixers than I do Mentats. Mentats seem mostly readily available. But back to that radiated little pool here along the, the roadside as we make our way to Prim. Not going to be doing anything really at Prim this episode. In fact, in this episode, I think I'm going to make my way all the way to the Mojave Outpost so that way we can create a fast travel point. Which will be handy for a quest that we will do here in Prim later on. 
There's no little side areas. There we go. We got a roach gecko. We got geck and roach. Oh, wow. Roaches don't stand a chance. We'll help them out. We're team roach over here. These fucking gecks have been tagging us the whole time. Roaches have been cool. Roaches have been chilling, man. Like, I don't think we fought a single rad roach. We killed a single one. I'm sorry, brother. I have avenged you. I don't think we have. But see, that hunter perk would let you do like 75% more damage against these guys, this shit, which die in one hit to these guys, which basically die in like, well, it's like four laser shots, but if I was focusing more on that, but it, and it, like I said, the damage is noticeable, but it's like against enemies like that, like golden geckos, fire geckos, maybe f um, like large fire ants. And Cazadors and giant rad scorpions. So there's like five tough enemies that it would be effective against, but it's kind of hard to score critical hits on certain ones. We got the NCR flag flying over here. What's going on here at Prim? It's hey, nighttime, too. You're going. Prim is off limits. Sorry, I didn't know. What's going on in Prim? Why would it be off limits? Up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Yeah, well, when I went up that way and tried taking Sloan, they said I should go this way, so... Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? What are you guys, a bunch we of pussies? We don't have equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Yeah, so this is like the real, the first real time that we're encountering the NCR, I guess. You have discovered Prim. All right, we're just going to walk past Prim for now, though. We'll talk to them and figure out what's going on in Prim and all that shit. All of them shenanigans next episode. Or it might not even be next episode. Maybe we'll do some Mojave Outpost shit next episode and then backtrack here. Who knows? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to get in good a little bit with the Mojave out with the uh, I don't know <laughs> with, with the NCR. There we go. Wouldn't hurt to be getting good with the Mojave Outpost. Do I have sleep? I because there there are some bunks I could not bunk, but there's like a bedroll or something I could sleep at. Fifty three. That's not too bad. I do need to fix up my. My food, my hunger, and thirst situation. <laughs> and you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, you know, I, I will rest at one of these these bunks, I've decided. We have the time. That way I can remove some of my sleep. And that way, I want to wait our... Well, I want it to be um, daytime, basically. So I kind of want to... So that way you guys can see things. There ain't really shit to grab around here. This is the the building off right behind that guy. It has a uh, like a bed or it has a mattress, I think, at the top. You can rest at. Yeah. <clears throat> and some ten millimeter ammo, which I don't want at all, so I'm not gonna not gonna take it. We'll go eight hours. I think I did that wrong. I think I need like one more hour for it to actually be bright out. Yeah, it's still dark out. I'm sure I don't have any more sleep deprivation or whatever. There we go. One more hour changes it like that. Look at that. It's just like, boop. I should have done it in-game just to see what it looked like in that hour where it changed. It's probably more gradual, obviously, but... What can you do? Okay. Just going to continue along the Mojave. We got the... Sunset drive in over there, but I'm not gonna worry about that until uh, we do the prim surrounding areas There's a couple of surrounding areas kind of like the good springs surroundings episode We're gonna do a prim surroundings episode where we explore all the surrounding areas and get all the goodies Not including this patrol station. We're gonna do this this episode <coughs> We will be checking this out because there is a skill book here as well so we're nabbing two skill books this episode. And I want to do it this episode because it's like a main quest episode too. So this shit's kind of important. Okay. Got this bugger. Oh. Ha. Got him with a sneak attack. You gain karma. Yeah, you just gain karma by killing 
Raiders. It's I don't know the karma system's shit in this game. It's b complete bullshit. Doesn't do like anything. Ooh, I'm just getting them with one hit, one crouch shot. Like, come on, come on, man. Iguana, on, I'm gonna take that. That'll be the food item that I I like stack. I'm gonna try and eat up the rest of them as I get hungry, and that way that'll be. I, I want to keep just one food item in my inventory, make it less clogged up, you know. So you'll see me ignoring a lot of food. Keep that in mind. Four dynamite. Man, that guy was... He had the wasted opportunities right there to blow my ass up. Four wasted opportunities. In fact, where's the jackal gang leader? I think that... So let's approach around this way. We'll get the high ground. Don't go too far up here and forward because there are ghouls roaming the area. There you go. Just You didn't believe me? There you go. I just showed you up close, kind of kind of up close but yeah we got some jackal gang members and back to 30 dynamite use our new heave ho ability to I heave hoed that a little too far Ooh, get fucking wrecked did I get them both I got them both with that oh no I didn't get that or yeah I did get them both okay so that second dynamite's a little overkill but that's fine got them both that was like a crit baby I think explosives ignore crits though. 10 millimeter pistol. None of these fools. You have leather armor. Oh. I'm like none of these fools have leather armor. I'll go ahead and use that leather armor, I think. Yeah, might as well. Fuck it, dude. Alright, let's go inside. We got ourselves. There's also a sunset sarsaparilla bottle cap inside. It's got a skill book for guns, which I'm sure a lot of you will like. Hey. I'm not going to use a dynamite in here. That'd be nuts. You like that? Just going to get in close and personal and chop them up. There we go. I should have used that leather armor after fighting these guys, but that's fine. I don't think that far ahead, as you can tell. Only when I'm planning stuff for the, the roadmap for the walkthrough. So we can kind of wander around here. There's nothing really in the desks or anything. There's some bottle caps right there for me. I don't know what there is for you. They're all random. Oh, she has leather armor, so there we go. Got more. Just for later. For future purposes. Four bottle caps, I'll take it. And let's let's get that skill bug now. It's on this desk. Guns and bullets. Ooh, baby. Not important for my character. Not super useful, but hey. For yours, probably. And it's permanent plus three to guns, so I won't complain. Who in their right mind would complain about that? I'm not going to take the healing powder. I don't think I need it. I'm going to sip one of these on the way out so I can get some H2O. Some thirst removal. Alright, let's get these. Uh, in fact, I, I just want to punch these things. I don't want to waste I don't want to waste Chance's knife on them. Fuckers are dead. It's over. You're dead. I fucking hate I'll kill your brothers too back at the schoolhouse. In good springs, motherfuckers. Alright, this guy has some 22 LR rounds, I guess. So yeah, he'll have some cards on him too for Caravan. I'll take all those because they don't weigh anything. Purified water. And they all collect neatly into one item. So there's that. The Sunset. Oh yeah, there's also... Boom. I want to snag these. Brass Knuckles is good for my character. But let's move the body out of the way. Got the Sunset Sarsaparilla. Bottle cap. I don't think the body's particularly on top of it, but it can get kind of in the way. We got a reloading bench. Oh, I did not mean to take those cases. Whoa. Oh, there was a mantis still left, and it looks like... Yeah, you can, like, step on them, and it'll kill them if you walk into them. So that's what that was right there. We got two Hydra on the desk. Very good item, especially in hardcore mode. Sit in the chair. Okay, let's do a little bit of... Uh, let's do a little bit of stuff here. Going to put you in the bottom left, and now I will move the dynamite up to the top left. How does that sound? Yeah, let's do that. It's got the laser pistol GRA on the right here. We got the laser rifle in the bottom left. Yep. Oh. And that's, ah, uh, yeah, that's really all I need to do. Need to do. There we go. We're going to repair this for so it sells for higher. 
Takes up less room. The items, the pro or the weapons and armor and stuff sell for less as you level up. You have leather armor on and a stim. I did not check your body. Check the eck. It's a lot of leather armor now. I think. Yeah, I have two. They have the exact same durability. I don't need to maintain that. I didn't take any damage. Cool. Okay. So let's continue on. We're going to continue on just a little bit further. Not too much further. We have a gas station over there. We're going to explore that. That does have a skill book. But we're going to explore that during one of the Mojave Outpost quests. So I'm going to ignore that for now. There's also a couple of locations with a bunch of like fire ants or whatever. Giant worker ants off in the racetrack area. We'll check that out that episode as well. We're going to cut through here. The Mojave Outpost quest is going to have us come back to this spot here where the collapsed bridge is and kill a family of giant worker ants that spawn here. Right now, there's no enemies. And I'm thinking we might do the Mojave Outpost quest first just to... Because there's, the, there's the, one of the repair people, a merchant that does repairs on your equipment here, and he has a repair skill of 100, so he can repair it all the way up to 100. He's like one of two, I think, NPCs in the entire game. So if you're if if you have bad rep with the Legion, that's no bueno. We got a traveling merchant here. Let's go ahead and talk to them real quick. Hey there. I want to get whatever energy cells and whatnot I can on the off of these guys. Sixty. Wow, that's it. That's all you have. Has some mini nukes here. If you have the uh, fat man, his bulk energy cells. I ain't. I ain't impressed. Oh, I kind of want this. Increases damage plus eight, but I would need a. I think I would need a gunrunner arsenal power fist specifically in order to use that. This merchant doesn't have much, much good stuff. I'll take your rat away. How about that? I guess purified water. Those stim packs are a little much. Reinforced leather armor. There we go. I'll take that shit. Here, let's sell. What can I sell? I'm going to use the lightweight to repair it, I think. Here, take these cases off me because they're useless. Alright, I'll sell all this ammo to him to make up for it. I need the rest of those. There we go. And sell this shit too. 709 cabs? Give me all that shit. Boy, I'll just do all this bartering right here in this episode. Fuck it. We're about to explore the Mojave, or discover it, and that's where we'll end the episode, so I might as well get this stuff out of the way. I'll keep the, should I keep the dynamite? Nah, I can get rid of some of this dynamite. Here, I'll sell eight of them. That way I'm only po po pocketing 20 of them, yeah. I can pretty much get rid of these. This survival won't help me through it. I'll keep one in case I need to use it for a skill check soon, but I don't think I do. But just in case, I'm going to play it safe, so. I think that's all I really need to get rid of. Uh, yeah, just like I'm going to keep that sneak one. Okay, cool. We'll do that. Doing Cab this. exchange. Thank you, sir. Just to extend the episode a little bit. This is a main quest episode. There's nothing in these vehicles and these cars and shit that you have to really worry about. There's junk, and I don't know, you might find stuff here and there. You got these cool statues here. We'll go into, like, the details of this place, um, maybe next episode, yeah, and then we'll backtrack to Prim after we help out the Mojave Outpost a little bit, as, after we do a few things here. Or maybe we'll just go to Prim. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to wait and see, but let's go ahead and get this place discovered on the map. Like I said, the, uh, repair guy... His name is Major Knight, and I'll show you the building he's in. I'm not going to go talk to him yet or do anything with that because I want to save that for the, the episode, you know, involving this place. The episodes. Spent a few episodes here at some point. But he's right here in this uh, building. He's immediately at the entrance behind the counter. His name's Major Knight. He can repair your shit up to 100 if you need repairs. Sometimes you'll find other traveling merchants around here and stuff. There's usually one. But, um... Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to begin this episode here, or next episode, I'm sorry, here, or if we're going to begin it in Prim. So I'm just going to end it here and figure that out, and we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. 
My name is Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.